Some of the key events taking place during this exercise have been the download at Matsu, as well as the railhead ops at Matsu and both here at Guan Island. The installation contributes to this exercise by providing the FF Marines a platform to both do offloads here at Blunt Island as well as Matsu and a place to do railhead ops. Exercise Dynamic Cape and other exercises like it are very critical to the 2nd Marine Expeditionary Force and the Marine Corps because we don't get to do it very often. And this is a very realistic way of how we would deploy forces and build combat power uh, in case of contingency or crisis. We have a lot of areas around the world where we'll need to rapidly deploy to. Marines from 2nd Atlantic Support Battalion and other elements of the MEF would meet a ship like the USNS Williams at a port at a foreign shore, quickly download, aggregate the MEF where Marines from 2 MEF would fly in and link up with that equipment and then carry out the mission. And then on the back side of that, Marines from 2nd Atlantic Support Battalion would help with the reconstitution of the maritime prepositioning ship as well. 2nd Atlantic Support Battalion's role in Exercise Dynamic Cape is to enable throughput operations uh, at port and railheads. Throughput operations is just what you see behind me where the Marines from 2nd Atlantic Support Battalion are directing the download of the rail cars and then in Wilmington they directed the offload and enabled the equipment to get staged properly in MAGTAF order as it came off the ship. What we are doing and the processes that we established for Dynamic Cape 21 are exactly the same processes that we would use in a combat operation or for a large scale operation. So for this as part of Dynamic Cape and the Operations Logistics Exercise, we have downloaded and we are reconstituting, reconstituting a single ship, the, the USNS Williams. For a large scale operation for a combat where we're doing more MPF operations or a larger MPF equipment set, we would do the exact same processes just with more quantity. So for this particular exercise, we intentionally set it up so that we would have the most realistic training we could have with the supply processes implemented. Thank you.